Elder C. W. Penrose bore a strong testimony to the truth of those principles which had been taught to us during this conference, and the facts declared to us this morning. He could not say that he had seen God or his Son Jesus Christ, neither had he held con converse with angels, but he had received the testimony of the Holy Ghost, which fully impressed his whole being with a conviction of the truth that God lived, as also his Son Jesus Christ, who was crucified upon Mount Calvary. He claimed no superiority above his fellows on account of his having received this testimony, for all people had the same privilege by taking the same course, by turning from their sins and returning to God and observe his commandments. For the work of God had gone forth, that who, that whoever would do his will should know of the doctrine that it was of God. Many of the gifts of the Spirit had been made manifest by those who had received the testimony of the servants of God and yielded obedience to the ordinances of the gospel, such as the sick being healed, the blind made to see, the deaf made to hear, and the lame to walk. He exhorted the saints to continue in the spirit of the gospel, that God might bless them with increased union in all things that pertained to things present and future. The day was not far distant when the power of the wicked would be broken and the kingdom of God fully established. He prayed that God would bless his testimony and the testimony of those who had already spoken during this conference.